Jasmine Paolini versus Emma Navarro is the second quarter final for the ladies Wimbledon for 2024. And it's surprising to see these two ladies at this stage of this tournament. Navarro entered the tournament as the number 19 seed and will take on Wong in the first round. There's no problem getting through in straights. Six love, six two. In the second round, she take on the wild card Osaka, who'd actually been pretty good on the grass so far. But Navarro destroyed her in straight sets. Six four, six one. In the third round, she take on Schneider, winning a title last week before the tournament. And after dropping the first set, Navarro would fight back to win. Two six, six three, six four. In the fourth round, she take on Coco Goff, a player she'd lost to in the first week of the season pretty badly. And after a shaky start, Navarro would win in straights. Six four, six three, to advance to the quarterfinals. Pellini entered the tournament as the number seven seed. We'll take a Tormo in the first round. There's no problem getting through in straights. Seven five six three. In the second round, she take on Minnan, and again, after a close first set, we'll get through in straights. Seven six six two. Third round, she take on Andrescu, who actually had a pretty good grass court season to this stage. And again, a close first set, but getting through in straights. Seven six six one. In the fourth round, she take on Keys, the number twelve seed, who is a very dangerous player on the grass. And after splitting the first two sets and five all in the third, Keys would get injured and have to retire with the score at six three six seven five all retirement in favor of Paolini to make the quarterfinals. Finals. These two have played three times before with Navarro leading 3-0 in the head-to-head. -head. And that includes two matches from this year, with the latest match being in Miami, with Navarro winning 6-love in the third. So, very interesting to see that Navarro actually has such an interesting winning head-to-head -head against Paolini, when so many players seem to struggle this year against Paolini on all surfaces. So, really interested to see if Paolini can turn it around this time. If Navarro's going to win this one, she's going to need to be confident in her ground slopes, like she was against Goff and Osaka. She was playing so well against both of them, beating them in straight sets. If she can use that head-to-head -head as well, as confidence, having beaten Paolini every time they've played, maybe she can get through this one and get to the semis. If Pellini's going to win this one, she's going to have to forget about the head-to-head -head and pretend like that was a different player because it kind of was a different player than what is now. She's going to have to be aggressive as well, which is something that Goff tried to do, but just couldn't execute. What a crazy matchup. I don't think anyone would have picked this one. Of course, there was a lot of big names that can play on grass in this section, but i got to go with Navarro in this one. I feel like that 3-0 head-to-head -head is just so one-sided. And also, with Pellini being the highest-ranked player down the bottom, the only top 10 left, she's going to be almost expected to make the final based on ranking. But I'm going to do the comments below who's making the semis.